Hello everyone. In this series of videos, we are going to see how to authenticate AWS VPN client users with AWS IAM Identity Center, which was previously known as AWS SSO, right? But before I jump into the actual demo, let's try to understand what is AWS VPN client is all about, how it can help us and how it works. All right. So what is AWS VPN client? Basically, it is a managed client based VPN service that allows us securely access our AWS resources in our on-premise network. With this client VPN, we can access our resources from anywhere using an open VPN based VPN client, right? And how AWS client VPN helps us, right? Basically, it supports client authentication using Active Directory, federated authentication and certificate based authentication. It also enables us to implement custom security controls by defining network based access rules. Additionally, it enables us to view connection logs, which can provide details on, on client connection attempts. You can also manage active client connections with the ability to terminate active client connections. It also integrates with existing AWS services including AWS directory services and Amazon VPC. All right, now let's see how it works. With client VPN, a user can connect to AWS resources located in private subnet in a VPC via client VPN endpoint with secure VPN sessions. The client establishes the VPN session from the local computer using VPN client software. And after they make the VPN connection, they can securely access the resources in the VPN in which the associated subnet is located. So this is the very high level overview of how AWS VPN client works. In this series of videos, we're going to see how to authenticate AWS VPN client users with AWS IAM Identity Center, right? Let me quickly illustrate how this will work from a very high level. Let's say we have a user and he opens AWS VPN client software on his or her local machine and establish a connection to the client VPN endpoint. The client VPN endpoint then sends an LDAP URL and authentication request back to the client based on the information that was provided in the IAM SAML provider. Then AWS provided VPN client opens a new browser window on the on the local machine. The browser makes a request to the LDAP and displays a sign-in page. This is the same sign-in page that we saw in AWS Identity Center user portal, right? The user then enters their credentials on the sign-in page and the LDAP sends a sign-in SAML assertion back to the client in the form of HTTP POST to the AWS provided VPN client. The SAML assertion is passed from AWS provided VPN client to the client VPN endpoint. And then the endpoint validates the assertion and either allows or denies access to the user based on authorization rules, right? So that's how we can ensure our AWS VPN client users are authenticated with the help of AWS IAM Identity Center, right? Now, let's quickly see what other steps we are going to implement in the following videos. First of all, we will create two SAML applications on IAM Identity Center. Then we will create two identity providers based on those two SAML applications. After that, we will create a self and service certificate on local machine and upload it into AWS Certificate Manager which will be used later on when we create VPN endpoint in the next step. And once the VPN endpoint has been created successfully, we will download the VPN client configuration file and use that to configure our VPN client software that has been installed on our local machine. So that's all. Stay tuned throughout this video series. 